Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Antventor. This was developed and published by Loopy Mood and is available to you for just a small £5.79 slash $6.99. So as we delve a bit into people's potential backlog here, uh, we basically play as Anti McShortant. And after the player, after you, the player, breaks his invention, we have to help him get some pieces back and save the world. Ant world, anyway, from no annihilation. Yes, that's right, nothing bad is actually going to happen, but still. Now, apparently this is the first short chapter of however many there's going to be, but of course we're still yet to see any more. Now, achievements-wise, they're all very easy. In fact, we don't, we don't even need to actually finish the game, as we just uh, rub the ant's butt right there. Uh, no, we don't even need to finish the game, which in this guide we won't be doing. I'm just going to show you all 11 achievements, then make like most of my pants and split. It's okay though, Christmas is only 8 months away so I can hold my bits in place tactically until then. Uh, anyway, this should only roughly take uh, between 35 minutes or so, so to, uh, to complete. So with that being said then, as we just, uh, you know, take a look at his big fat head right there and his tiny little butt. <laughs> Let us begin. And of course we're going to start a new game, no settings, there's no dialogue or anything. You can press the A button to skip the dialogue. There is no dialogue options, it's literally just a case of going to places, doing things. So you can hold the left bumper or right bumper to highlight objects, which we won't be doing. Combine elements, um, or you can double tap the A button to run into places. For the majority of the time though, we'll just be pressing the X button to go immediately into our inventory and go from there. So, Sleepy McDouchebag right here is taking the chill, so let's mess around with him. So, press the A button there on Mc Ant McPartlin. Ant Mc uh, five head right there. And he's going to wake up and, uh, to, well, he's got a can of tomato soup for an invention. Tidy. So peel down the left um, poster, or the left stamp right there. And uh, short bag is going to put it back up. Dream of one day going to New York or something. And then what we can do is interact with the invention by opening up the door and then clicking the gears, which will basically break it. So congratulations. You, the player, have just destroyed a single ant's dream. I hope you are proud of yourself. Which you should be, because, uh, you know, yeah, it's just an ant. There's like a billion more, right? Again, if you're all into animals and stuff, don't worry. I'm not going to kill ants, really. Uh, they don't. They, they're, not, they're not a sustainable meal, our ants. So anyway, he's pissed off with us, which is fine. So now we've got to help him. And, um, yeah, there's not really a, a, a lot to do in half hour. So... Let's go after, again, we can't skip through these bits, unfortunately, so just wait in and wait in and wait in. But what we're going to do is pull the left stamp off and interact with the other two stamps as well. So let us do that. Again, anti muck small face, uh, oh, big head small face has a couple of dreams. Dreams which are not going to be realized in this game, at least anyway. So after interacting with all those, interact with the roll of paper um, in the left-hand side hole. Uh, for some reason, our cursor is doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk for whatever particular reason. So what we need to do is actually close the door. Ignore me here. Um, we, we need to put the ladder back. Uh, so close the door. So click on the gears there again to close the door. Press the X button again. Press and hold the A button to drag your ladder down. And then what you need to do is interact with the sticks at the top right there. Basically, they are apparently spare parts, which are going to come in mega handy. I suppose they do as an ant. Um, as a human, we barely do nothing. We throw them at dogs. We put them up our butts for some reason. If you're looking in the, all the right directions, but not me. Not not anymore. That's for another story. So, uh, again, deadlifting champion is the deadlifting champion. He can't lift up his own invention. So now we're going to grab the ladder this time. And that'll come handy a little bit later on. We're going to grab the chair. That we were sitting on uh, before, of course. He just ruined his life. So again, congratulations. Interact with the thread. The needle and thread, sorry. And then pick up the red button. All will come in handy again. Where he's putting these, I've got no friggin' idea. So from here, what we can do then with the hee-hee, <laughs> Michael Jack and cursor. Press the X button to go back into your inventory. Grab the chair and drag it down to the invention. That will automatically put it up. And now we can go back into our inventory. Inventorius, grab the Ladderorius, drag it down the hole. Wrong hole. <laughs> yeah, wrong hole. That's too small for the ladder to go in. You need to go through the big hole. 
Uh, the word <laughs> the I'm not even trying this time. Okay, so it's dark, it's deep. A lot of things have been in there. Um, but anyway, what we have to do, we have to interact the sticks, the spare parts, and the rope. So again, just drag them um, onto one another. That will automatically combine them. Grab the new ladder parts, drag them down to the ladder, and away we go. We are good to go. Now we can go down the hole. Again, this is the correct hole. This is the one that hurts less. Well, depend who you're asking, but um, so let's go down. We fall, and we're going to see a big, chunky boy enemy on the left. It's very easy. This is pretty much the only enemy in the game. Um, we can't do anything. We've just got to do a bit of avoiding and stuff. So, that's fine. What we're going to do is grab the Firefly from the right-hand side. The fly with the light sticking out of his butt. Like it's taking a literal golden poop. And we've all had one of those. Especially after some epic uh, Indian and Chinese food. Oh, 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 it's always a good idea at the time, though, isn't it? And a greasy kebab on a night out. <laughs> That's always a good idea until the next day. And then you uh, end up fireflying your ass off. Right, anyway, so after all this bit, we're going to go to the left slightly. And we have to distract the guard, which is holding Dr. Zoidberg's claw. So just above, just to the left above the hole, interact with that root. That will distract the guard. Then we can go to the left. And we're going to hide behind this little um, dark area. And then what we can do, just where the guard was standing, there's another root. So grab that one. That... Um, reveals a hidden area so we can go straight away up there just before the guard comes back if the guard does come back don't worry just press on the left route again to distract him and then climb up here when we are up here we're going to grab another button which is just stuck in the right hand side wall there so grab that this guy is pretty much looking like he is off his nut mate you're just smashing the same sticks so you can't get any more out of that <laughs> but good luck trying so we can go down just Track the guard again by grabbing the root. As soon as we can go down, we can start heading back to the right. We're going to start unlocking a couple of beautiful achievements right now. And the first of those is we're going to go to the right. Right, 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 right. And you can see the sleepy guard. We'll be coming to him in a minute. But there is a spoon, well-hidden spoon in the right-hand side wall. So again, make sure that we are grabbing that one. All comes in handy. Again, I don't know where anti Muck 6 head is uh, putting these things. But frankly, I don't think I want to know. But it's all good. So we're going to go back to the left. Uh, basically, there's only like three areas in this game. And this is the first main bit. But as we go to the left here, we're going to distract the guard again by pulling on the root to the left. And then as soon as he's gone, just immediately click to go up to where the worker was again. And then what we need to do is, again... Whap open your inventory by pressing the X button. Grabbing the bent spoon. Pull, pulling it over to where the guy's smashing the sticks. And we can pick up the straight spoon now. So we'll get our first achievement called Exploiter. As we're going to head down, we're going to distract the guard again and go into the hidey hole. But, now, turning a spoon straight makes me think of those weird homophobic camps where the god people think by keeping gay people hostage for a few weeks, they're going to turn straight. Um, now, they probably think they could do it with a rock, just like then. But I highly advise against bashing anyone with a rock, gay, straight, or frying pan. Uh, but anyway, we're going to grab the firefly. We're going to put that on the wall as soon as the guard starts going back. Um, as soon as he starts turning back, anyway. Uh, yeah, those camps just never made sense to me. That's it. You're gay. You must be unhappy. Well, no, just just let people be happy, man. <laughs> let people be who they want to be. Right? Am I right, people? Yeah, I am. Anyway, we put the firefly on the wall, grab the poster or the little stamp with the woman on it, and for some reason this guy's going to get horny. We're going to distract him once again with the root. And as soon as we do that, he's going to be like, well, goddamn, now my Zoidberg claws just got harder. What the hell's that? As soon as we do that, grab the spoon and get the dirt pile that the guard was just standing by. So that'll be the first dirt pile. We need three. So the guard's going to be distracted. He's going to actually slip over here, which will unlock the roly-poly achievement as well. So you can wait until that happens. Um, <laughs> unlock that achievement. And then we can just distract him again and then be on our merry way. So it's probably worth doing because I'm not sure if it would unlock if you already go on your way before he roly polies. But anyway, as soon as you do that, we go over here just underneath our room, grab the spoon again in the dark, grab the second dirt pile. 
And now we're going to be going to the right up to where the sleepy ant was. Now, basically, what you have to do... Now, also, one thing. There is an achievement called Clumsy. That's for, for basically for randomly falling over like five or six times. So, you'll get that. You should get that um, at some point anyway. So, what we need to do is now wait for this guy to fall asleep. And then quickly grab his dirt pile just to the left. Um, now, I... Did take a little bit too long there, but so as soon as you see his eyes close, that is the best time to do it. Um, otherwise, we're just waiting around and thinking about settees and question marks and the infinite, the infinity of sitting down. Oh, it's my goddamn favourite. So he's going to start slowly, slowly going to sleep. I'll tell you what, an ant's life is boring in video games and stuff, but it always seems so fun carrying things. Anyway, as soon as he falls asleep. Grab the third dirt pile, that will be that one. And now what we can do, we're going to head back down as we unlock the Sneaky Thief achievement. We're actually going to combine those dirt piles and we're going to distract the Dr. Zoidberg holding claw guard for good. So, once again, we're going to distract him. We're going to go to the left and get into this little hidey hole bit once more. And now what we're going to do is go into our inventory and put all three dirt piles together. Beautiful, grab the dirt pile, and <laughs> it's, funny. it's still funny the second time. You need to drag it down. Uh, we, we will have to wait until he comes back. Where's my Zoidberg, dude? Anyway, grab the dirt pile, put it next to the poster on the Firefly. Now distract the guard again, and that will be achievement number four. Distractor, or something. And then we can finally go through the hole and get through this place. Now the guards are like, oh, now I can sit at half a cleavage forever. Wow, it makes for a great TV. Well, that's what they say, cleavage sells, doesn't it? That's why when I start streaming, oh boy, you bet your ass I'm going to be getting my cleavage out. And I know everyone's very excited about that thought. So anyway, we get the distractor achievement. We can now head outside. I bet nobody, I bet everyone's feeling sick at the thought of seeing... A Welsh, my own Welsh cleavage. I'd <laughs> look after it. Right, so we've got a couple more things to do before the end of the game. I mean, we're already 12 minutes in. We've got 20 minutes left. So, yeah, it's Ty Bob Buff Pants. So, what we're going to do first is head down to the right. You're going to see a big chunky boy. Now, just imagine, especially for those with arachnophobia, imagine one of those just crawling across your. You know, you live in a room floor and stuff. Australians don't get bothered by any spiders because spiders are bigger than their heads out there. Um, but anyway, we'll come, we'll come back to Chunky Boy Spider in a bit. Just before going to the hole, there is a little pebble that we are going to pick up. So make sure to grab that. And now we can head through the hole. Now this is basically the only other sort of big main area in the game. So again, not a lot going on, but... Eh, well, you know, it's just enough for an easy thousand, isn't it? So what we're going to do, we're going to keep going to the right. Um, now, pressing the sort of sprinting mechanic is a bit weird um, in this game. You you tap the double A button. Don't worry about the time we're going down, by the way. I've got no idea what that is, personally. Um, but yeah, sometimes you sort of do a sprint and then stop, and then I don't know anyway. So we go to the left here. We're going to see a couple of crows who have a random iPod just chilling. Somebody's lost their iPod, the human. But what we're going to do is actually grab a curved twig just um, to the right of our heads. So the top right, right there. So make sure to grab this curved twig. It's going to come in handy a little later on. Now we're just going to go all the way back to the right. Dude, to tell you what, this this guy, this ant keeps looking at us really pissed off and really, uh, you know. Sorry you broke your invention, bro. But it's just a can of soup with some gears in it, yeah. Anyway, when we get here, we're going to start heading down, down left now. So make sure to start heading down left, and there'll be a new path that will open up for us. Very, very hard, very easy to miss, sorry. Uh, so just keep heading down. And what's going to happen is there's going to be another crow. Um, th that's what we're looking for. But a crow's all like, bruh, <laughs> bruh. I am bigger than you. And, of course, you crap your pants. Now, to get another achievement called Coward, what we need to do is just go back to that crow three times um, until it unlocks. So, basically, we'll just go to the crow, come back, because we crapped the pants, the little ant butt pants. And so, just keep going back down left to the crow until the achievement unlocks. Nice. <laughs> Ah! 
mean, you think you'd learn your lesson the first time, but you know, the stuff we do for achievements, <laughs> hey, we've done a lot worse for it. Uh, than just about being eaten. So this time we can go all the way to the left. Ignoring the hole where the spider is, we can go all the way to the right this time to go into a new area. So what we can do is just grab this little... Um, is that supposed to be an acorn cup or a mushroom cup or something? It's a cup of something. Um, so grab the stick, your curved twig, and use that with the mushroom acorn cup, whatever that is, and that's going to fly all the way down. And what we can do then is just keep heading all the way up the tree now. So... Sometimes it's kind of... <sighs> the button prompts and things are kind of finicky in this game, look. So from here, you probably think there's no way to go. But you can literally just keep pressing the A button to keep climbing up. Um, but yeah, the, the sort of button prompts and everything can be a little bit finicky in this game. It may take you one one or two, maybe even three tries to get something to work properly. Um, yeah, it's all good. But it looks pretty clever, so there we go. But we're going to interact with the acorns anyway, because basically what we do is um, we, we we fart, basically. Um, so we do a couple of things throughout this playthrough, which makes us want to um, crap our pants, quite literally. And we'll get the achievement Stinky right at the very end of this guide. So when we climb down then, um, I accidentally went to the left, but we're going to stay down here. And then what we can do, you see the little tiny leafy sort of vine sort of heading down that is what we are going to be heading down from so it so apologies about that ignore the edit but we are going to be climbing down this little leafy branch piece of leaf and we're going for a hell of a fall <laughs> that's quite funny But we do come into this new area, which is nice. So we're going to grab the toothpaste lid. Again, that is literally bigger than the ant, more or less. So um, kudos to wherever you're sticking that, love. Um, buddy boy. Right, we're going to grab the pink flower there, which is just to the right of the toothpaste lid. Again, it all comes in handy. There's always a method to our madness. Grab the Y-shaped twig as well. And that should be all for this area. So what we can do now, there's a little bit of, um, the, like... <laughs> fluff ball that you pick out from your belly button and it's just in these sleeping pills here so what you need to do is actually click on the bit of fluff ball again sometimes it's hard to find the, the specific way to actually get in but there we go uh, so sometimes you'll have to click on something else to click back it's a bit weird like that but anyway we've come in here with some of the floppiest boobages we have ever seen look at them look at them go woohoo kind of hypnotic almost I didn't know ants had um, floppier boobs than that. Or, or whatever she's supposed to be. Yeah, I, I assume she's an ant, but... One, she's off a nut, and two... Love, put put your cardi on. Put your cardigan on. You, you got flappages. You got flaps out. Um, yep. I'm... I'm very sorry about this. I'm, I'm very... It, it, it's a case of you shouldn't really be... You know when you um, find something... <laughs> tickle them. Tickle them. Anyway, you, you shouldn't really be looking, but you just can't help but look. Um, it's one of those. So, anyway, let's get away from the old lady boobs. We're going to go into our inventory. We're going to grab the Y-shaped twig, and we are going to use it with the dog. It's 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 a larvae, but, uh, or lava, whatever the hell you want to call it. Larvae? It is larvae, isn't it? But it's like a dog type thing. So, anyway, grab that. Now we can grab the light bulb. Which is just to the left of it. And we're actually going to be grabbing another achievement now as well. The bully achievement. Now the way to do this. It was kind of weird. I didn't know what to do at first. But you basically grab a pebble. And just use it on yourself. Um, I thought there was something you could smash. Or you could throw it at the old lady's floppy boobages. But no. You've just got to grab this pebble. Use it on yourself five times. The bully achievement will unlock. And then. I mean. Is bullying yourself technically a bully? I don't. I don't know, but it is in this game, so that's what we're going for. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh. And there we go then, bully, that's who we are, apparently. We're bullying ourselves. Would have been funnier if we could lob it at the old lady's boobs, but, um, what? Yeah. Obviously, you know, don't do that in real life. Don't go throwing stones and pebbles at old ladies' boobs. They, 
I mean, they might appreciate it. And it depends depends what level of kink everyone's nans are at, to be honest. But um, anyway, we're just going to head all the way back up the tree. <laughs> yes, I just said all of your nans have kinky thoughts. So um, I hope that rests with you in the night. <laughs> anyway, go over to the right. We're going to be grabbing a feather. So <laughs> let's pick this one up. Sorry to do that to you again, guys and gals, but... Uh, well, you know, I said it, I've got to think about it as well, so we're all in the same boat now, the same sickening thought boat. Ugh. So when we grab the feather anyway, we can now head back to the left. And again, it's <laughs> it's a weird one, but you just basically, sort of at the bottom left corner, that's how we get left. Yeah, it's, just, again, sometimes it's weird, you have to be in a specific spot for things to work. Now we can go back down the hole, we can go back down the old spidey hole. Spidey man, Spidey man. Now, what's supposed to be, there is supposed to be a thread just on the bottom right, or right at the bottom of where the spider web is. There is supposed to be a little thread that hangs down, but it doesn't appear here. Um, it appears later on, so it may be there for you right now, which you need to grab. Or if it doesn't, and it's sort of, I'm not sure again if it's whether a game glitch or whether you have to do it. Um, but we have to go to the crows and then comes back and then it appears. But anyway, so if the thread is there right where our ant head was just then, then you sh can pick it up now. But again, I'll pick it up later. So we're grabbing another achievement. Grab your little puppy dog and just attempt to feed him to the spider again another five times. And he's going to look super sad and we think... Oh, you know what then? All right. All right. We've got our achievement now. We won't feed you to the scary Australian spider. The scary Australian spider. <gasps> Was that a good one? <laughs> Did I do good accent? Yes. Anyway, when we are done and we have the achievement, grab the puppy dog and put it on the small leaf to the right of the sort of big leaf with the um, water on it. And then it's going to... The dog caterpillar with the incredible... Jesus Christ, that is a mouth and a half. Anyway, that drops the water onto the spider's head. Um, so we're getting there. It's getting closer and closer, but we're not quite there yet. With the water from the leaf, now we need the water from the weird Australian spider's head. I get water drop from the spider. Now, the way to do that is... Oh, I might just be in New Zealand dish right now. Uh, I'm going to stop with the accents. Everyone's already annoyed with it. Sorry. So we're going back through the hole. Now, what again, this is the point where I end up going all the way to the left of the crows, going back, and then that little bit of thread appears by the spider web. So again, if you've picked it up, you can pick it up now, and then you can combine everything that you need to combine and shoot the iPod. But what I do here then, I will grab all the way on the right-hand side, should be the same for you in the inventory, grab this little thread needle, pull it over, and put it on the feather. <laughs> on the feather is what we're trying to do there. Um, so as soon as that one is done, again, if you've got the thread, what you can do is put the thread with the uh, curvy twig to make a bow, and then put the bow with the feather to make an arrow, and then you can shoot the iPod. So that is what you have to do. But again, if not, if you were in the same situation as me, we can go back, and now it should appear. The thread just by the spider web should appear. Um, there it is. So just underneath... And again, apologies, the frame rate issues I had in the second half of this game were terrible. Absolutely terrible. But that is where the thread is. That is where the thread should have appeared earlier on. But again, if it didn't, don't worry, you should have it right now. So now, when we have that, we can use that bit of thread. Use it with the bow, uh, the curvy twig to make a bow. Then use the feather with it to make a bow and arrow. And then when that is done, we can now head back through the hole and all the way to the left next to all crow bags. Now are you ready for the time of your life? Go on your inventory, get out the bow and arrow, use it on the iPod, and skablam! Somehow, you'll have enough force <laughs> in order for the crow to drop the iPod, and we are good to go. Now what we're going to do is head all the way back to the right, and go through the hole back to El Spidre. Or Spider. Because El Spidre is spider in Spanish, right? <laughs> Probably wrong, but still. So we're heading back down, and we're going to see where the iPod is. 
And again, the load it for whatever reason, I don't know if it'll be the same for you, but the loading times were about 40 seconds plus, and the frame rate issues I had every time I entered a new area were bloody poor. Which is not good. But anyway, we see the iPod earphone. Now head down from the iPod earphone right there. Well, actually blows. So when we go down, we come into this new area again. Now what we need to do is jump on the iPod to play it. And then, in fact, what we're gonna, I accidentally, well, I say accidentally, I unlock the clumsy achievement. Again, this will be a random one for you. Um, as we press play and then we can head back up to the spider so what we'll do there you will automatically unlock the DJ achievement but the clumsy one again is you basically fall at random times so you might get clumsy now you may get clumsy in a little bit you might have got the clumsy achievement earlier on as well uh, but you could just keep climbing up and down places until you fall over if you don't have it yet or if you don't have it later which is fine so when we get over here click the next button on the iPod once more there we go, so make sure uh, Big Ant-Man jumps in here, and when we do that, we can grab the small little branchy leaf. So make sure to grab this one as well, and then we can head back up. And we're going to start seeing Spider really start to jizz out now. Jazz out, I mean, sorry. Jazz out, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually, and this is what I mean, that the, for whatever reason, it, pff, it took bloody ages to load to go back to the same area. So we're not quite there yet. Getting more ferocious, but we're not quite there. So head back down to the iPod once again. Come in. Come in. Just got my finger up my bum, waiting for this crap to load. Oh, right, Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Right. Click next on the iPad again. Or iPod, sorry. And we're going to head back up one more time to get the Ferrari Italian National Anthem, which only ever reminds me every time Ferrari win a Formula One race. It really does. Every time there's a Formula One race that happens, that I, this bit just reminds me of when they start banging the champagne and they're all having a chat on the podium. Ah, God, I love Formula One. But anyway, enough about me. Grab the toothpaste lid, put it down by the leaf, interact with the leaf, and um, that the water will go in there. Now we can pop that up without somehow dropping any splosh, sploshes or splooshes of water. Right, job done, mate. Right, so now what we're going to do is grab the long stick and interact that with the pink flower. Then use that long stick pink flower to give to your missus so she will love you. And then you can do whatever you want for an afternoon. See? Tactics. Uh, give that to the doggy caterpillar weird thing. And he's going to fall down and luckily not die. So we're going to grab him. See, I'm fucked up. I know my stuff. One day, run your missus a nice hot bath and says, look, love, you know, you... You know, oh, the girl, girlfriend, or your boyfriend, boyfriend, or boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, whatever. So, look, you, you enjoy yourself. I'll just be chilling, I'll wait for you, put some can nice candles out for him and stuff. Proper romantic. And then, obviously, you can play some Xbox for a bit then. So, uh, hey, I'm always there for you. Right, so we're heading back inside the our main hidey hole. Don't worry about the guard, he will never, never suspect they sing. And then what we can do is actually just head up. All the way up to where the crazy ass wiener workers working. Uh, grab the light bulb, put it underneath there, and it's gonna be like, God damn! God damn, just smash the light bulb, man! Now, this is actually, uh, this was only gonna come in handy for the end of the game, which of course I don't actually show you. Um, all we have to do is basically just cut one little, like, rope thing, and then that ends the game. Um, but obviously, I'll just show you exactly if you. That's if you want to finish the game anyway on your own terms. I'm just showing you uh, how to do it and where to get it anyway. Right. So back into the Formula One podium ceremony with the spider. Uh, we've got the smash bulb. Now what we're going to do is head just all the way to the right once again, and go back through the hall.
I tell you what, honest to God, my nan, who's way over 80, no, she's not way over 80, I shouldn't say that, she'd kill me, but she's over 80, and she moves better than some of the bloody frame rate drops in this game. Jesus criminy. Right, anyway, what we're going to do is head to the right, um, but we've got literally just a minute left now before we unlock the final two achievements. We're going to head back down this sort of leafy, branchy piece of branch leaf. So head down. And then we're just going to go to the right here. Now if you just want to finish the achievements quickly, uh, just go back into the sleeping pills bottle, give the old lady, old boob lady the um, water, and then click on the pills in the next room, and that will uh, end the game. But what we're going to do, we're going to grab the one button and use it with the um, one stick, the Y-shaped stick. Then grab the other button, use that with a Y-shaped stick, so you got like a bench press. I thought he was actually going to make a bench press, to be honest, but as it turns out, eh, no, he does not. So now we can go inside. Inside. And again, we've got, I tell you, her boobs are moving better than this bloody frame rate drop at the minute. floppity doppity doppity dop floppy whoppy wieners. In the old uh, Michael Jackson um, moonwalk tickle. Okay. Damn. I wish you'd stop hiccuping so much. I'm, I don't know if I'm scared or aroused. I'm scaroused. Uh, anyway, since we're not scaroused anymore, give her the water. And then finally, everything stops flopping about. And we're all good. And for some reason, then she opens up the secret room. Uh, but that will give us the sycophant achievement. Now, what we can do then is, again, if you just, basically the only achievement that we've got left is to get the stinky achievement. Again, that is just for farting, <laughs> be, uh, like five different random times. And I think you only do that um, by trying to lift heavy things and do things that you can't quite do. Um, so when I grab, if you've been following the guide so far, by the time we pick on the pills, the stinky achievement should unlock. So hopefully you would have unlocked it as well. If not, I'm pretty sure you'll just be able to, god damn. That's a better dog. Set of boob dogs. Sorry. Anyway, so as I said, um, now we can go to the right, and then what we're going to do is just interact with the pills once. Stinky Jim is going to unlock. If it doesn't unlock for you, um, try and... I think you should be able to just go and either keep picking up... trying to pick up the same bit of pills or pick up the other pills. But anyway, you should get this achievement here anyway. Hopefully you do it at the same time as me. And that will be that then. I mean, you, if you do want to go ahead and finish the game, you're literally only a couple of minutes away anyway. So, um, But that will be that then, guys and Cal. So if you check right now, you should have 11 out of 11. If you don't have stinky or clumsy, just walk around until you keep falling over to get clumsy. And keep uh, just trying to keep, keep picking up those pills to get the stinky achievement. But by now, you should have 11 out of 11. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. Nice, easy, quick one. Just to whack off the old backlog there if it's been stuck there for a while. Um, and it's only a fiver as well if you fancy a cheeky uh, 1,000 gamer score, especially for the True Achievements May challenges coming up. But there we go. Uh, if you did enjoy, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to chat me on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Um, big shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, by the way. Just absolutely such legends. And that will be that. So, thank you so, so much again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.